Hey everyone, Steve here. Today, I'm going to talk about some really nice changes in everyone's favorite subject surrounding NX, and that's the Sketcher. Years ago, there was a big update to the way the Sketcher works, and there were some nice incremental changes and fixes and updates and ads and all sorts of analysis tools and navigators and things of that nature that have popped up. And it's made the Sketcher infinitely more usable, and I really like it. But in this release, the 2506 release, it was a big, we'll call it evolution, nearing a revolution in how you draw your curves. And I am a huge fan. So stick with me on this ride. Hopefully you see the tools for what they've become and like them as much as I do. Now, before we get into the video, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do so. That helps me the most. Liking the video, sharing with friends also helps me a ton, and I really, really appreciate that. And feel free to leave a comment. Some of you did on my last one about my lovely new haircut, and uh, I gotta go chuck a lot of it. Anyway, on screen, I'm gonna start a sketch. I'm gonna come in here, pick my sketch plane and select OK. Leave it at that. And the first thing you're going to notice, ignoring all of my icons, first thing you're going to notice is that there is no profile tool any longer. That tool has been removed. And to be very honest, I couldn't be happier about it. It was kind of a sore spot for me. It was kind of a dinosaur, right? The way things were done for so long, and it was a bit tricky, difficult, especially for new users to come in and use that tool to draw lines and arcs and all this other stuff. Some of the updates are not just getting rid of the profile tool, but also, I think, again, this is a preference thing, the tools, the rest of the tools, I should say, are still there in essence. It's just they have been sorted a bit differently. So when I look at line, notice I have line and line from midpoint. I have arc, I have arc and arc from center, circle and three point circle. Now all of these were there, same thing with rectangle. I have all of these were there in the prior releases of the sketcher. It's just now rather than clicking on the icon and then, I, you know, you've seen me do this in my lectures plenty of times probably. I go to make a rectangle and I forget Oh, I have to change the type of rectangle that I'm using. Maybe I want to go from corner to corner, and or and I wanted to switch it to rectangle from center or back and forth and so on. So unless you're checking what pops up, which I'm going to admit I'm a little guilty of not doing that, then you have to go back, select the feature type that you want, and then go from there. Now it's just pulled out. They're just it's a drop down. And, oh, I want a rectangle. Which kind of rectangle do you want? You just go right to that type of rectangle. If I click on from center, notice I go into the rectangle from the center menu. I'm going to close out. If I go into line, now I go into this menu to draw lines rather than having that little pop up and the, the little text fields on the side that you could tab over and enter in and do things in that fashion. Although it worked really well, this just made everything a lot easier. Also notice the ability to draw an arc or a circle in the middle of drawing a profile. Looks like it's gone. It's still there to some extent. There's something there that you can do, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. But nice thing about this is you have an actual menu. With this menu, Okay, here's my point selector, my point dialog. So if I need to pick a very specific point type, I can go into that point dialog, you know, same thing over here. Something else that's changed is notice I have my size and angle. Again, that used to be on the little cursor next to the entry fields for the for the points and you know or the type of line that you wanted to draw. So they pulled that out and put that in the menu. This just makes it a little easier for people rather than just knowing to tab over, like, how do I get to that field? This allows you just to go in and click and type in. It's more intuitive. It's more natural to the way people work. 
I have chain curves, create reference geometry on the fly. So if this is turned on, and you know, I know there's a big tell, I'm gonna talk about the cursor here in a minute. Notice it goes right to reference geometry. This is something that I like a lot. Okay, let me just cancel that and come back in. I can type in my length and angles and lock those values in just like I did in the previous tool and the older versions of the tool. So if you want to go ahead and use that and it will create the relation. So if I type in 90, it'll create the 90 relation. If I type in an angle, it'll create that. And then I can lock those in and then draw that line in over and over again. So on to the cursor. Notice it is a little pencil. I'm a huge, huge fan of this, right? When I first came in, I go, oh boy, here we go. What do they change, right? Is it going to make it easier or harder for me? And in all honesty, this made it, in my opinion, my humble opinion, much easier because they've changed the way that it functions, but in a very good way. I think this is something that everyone's going to agree upon. I hope, please. Now, as you can see, I can still draw in a line the way I did. I pick a point and that cursor has the little orange point. Again, remember, anytime you see orange, that means you're going to pick there or it's highlighted or it's active or whatever it is. And I still have all of the help lines. Notice I have my relation that wants to pop up the horizontal. Now, one thing that just happened as I was drawing is I left my cursor in that spot for a moment. Notice the horizontal relation is no longer there. And also notice it looks like there's this reference line hiding behind, right? What this is, now I'm just going to click. That's telling you that because I left that line, like if I come to the vertical, notice the vertical is there. I leave the cursor there. The gesture is the vertical disappeared. Because the vertical disappeared, I get that little help line in the background. So that's basically, I can't tell you how many times I'm drawing a sketch and I want to get something to vertical. I kind of get it and there's a bunch of crap going on. You, gotta, you, you want to hit the alt key because it's picking things behind, but then you don't get the vertical and you're doing this dance to try to get things to go. But the nice thing is, is, all right, maybe I can get vertical to go easy up here, let it snap. And then once it snaps, I can then draw the line to the length I want. And again, that reference behind it is indicating, it's telling you that it is vertical. So those kinds of gestures are really nice. Other things that you can do now as well, okay, as I'm drawing, okay, you still have the same things as before. I got segment only, add infinite line. So now I can snap that as an infinite line I know some people really wanted this. So this, this is kind of neat how this infinite line works. And I can go back and forth, go back to segment only. Maybe I just wanted this there because reasons. And begin drawing again. Now before I close out this rectangle, what I'm going to do, okay, I notice I got the snap to vertical. I'm going to right mouse click. And this to me was huge. There's a couple of things that were absolutely huge. This is one of them. By right mouse clicking, you get this lovely menu. And of course, depending on what you're picking and where you're at and what you're doing, that menu is going to change. Notice I have arc. So if I wanted to change that line to an arc, I can. Also, also, if I right mouse click, I can go back to line. Notice it goes to the arc menu. Okay, it switched it over to the arc menu. So yeah, you can still draw a profile. It's just a little different. And in my estimation, it's a little bit easier. The, the one thing that I would say is um, I would add, if at all possible, notice that arc wants to go in the one direction. It, this is new. So there's going to be a few things that need to be worked out. So if anybody from Siemens is watching, I would love to be able to right mouse click and say alternate solution and then have it go to the other side. Or maybe you want the, the, the rest of the arc 
right? The complement. So have something in here that allows you to right mouse click to get the complement or the other segment. So technically, right, from these two points, there are four solutions. You got that segment, the opposite segment, then you got the big segment and the big segment in the opposite direction. So I think it'd be really nice as an addition to be able to right mouse click and then maybe you just have the a little pull down here, a little arrow that goes off to the side, a little chevron, and you can pick which segment you want, one, two, three, or four. So that would be nice. But right now I'm just gonna go back to line and it goes back to the line menu. Now if I right mouse click again, notice there's my chain, I can break the chain. I can convert it to reference right there as I'm drawing it. I can lock the angle and lock the length. So if I come in, and just as a note, if I'm drawing and I right mouse click and I realize, oops, I right mouse click, I don't want anything. This is kind of what I was talking about for the circles a moment ago where you had the little chevron on the side and then you can pick which quadrant you want. Anyway, if I don't want to pick anything in the menu, just pick out in space. It's not going to select anything. It's just going to get rid of the menu with mouse button one, I should say. Now, if I right mouse click again, wherever I'm at, I'm always gonna get that menu. So it's just simple mouse button one click out in space to deselect the menu. So as I go forward, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna hover, it's gonna lock. And I realize, oops, I don't want it to lock. I want it to go to this end point right over here. So I'm gonna right mouse click, notice, lock relative angle. I can turn that off and go right back to picking that endpoint. So let me break that chain. Really nice interactions for that line function. And the other operators, the arc and circle and rectangle have some updates as well. Something else that I really like about the line function is as I'm drawing, okay, I'm going to draw and I'm going to say turn off chain curves. Maybe I don't want to chain the curves. This is really nice. Pick a point, pick a point, pick a point, pick a point. All right, very easy, no longer chaining curves. I couldn't care less. Next thing I want to do is I want to pick an endpoint or maybe pick a midpoint. This is the other thing that made me oh so happy. I don't want to go into my point selector and be very specific about what I'm picking. But in the old version of this, it was a little trickier to make sure you're getting an endpoint. The reason why is, if I got anywhere near the endpoint, notice, okay, I'm, that's a point on line. Point on line, point on line, point on line. But at some point, it just snaps to that endpoint. Look how far away that cursor is from that endpoint. It'll snap to that endpoint. You get anywhere near that endpoint, and it wants to snap to that endpoint. How nice is that? So the green that you see there, the little greenish ball, is indicating that's where it's going to snap to. So if I pick, notice it goes to that endpoint. I don't even have to touch the endpoint 100% like I used to have to. Or if I'm close to the endpoint up here, I locked it. I don't want to lock it, so I'm going to right mouse click and release that lock. So same thing drawing in that line. It used to be that you would have to get right on top of that endpoint to get it to snap. Now, I get really, I don't have to get super close. It just snaps, just like that. It snaps. It just goes, boop, like a magnet. Same thing with the midpoint. Okay, let me close this out. Let me true up my view. I'm going to go back into line. Same thing with the midpoint. I'm hovering over the line, and as soon as I get to that, notice it goes right to that midpoint. I get the little green ball, and it just goes like a magnet, stuck to that midpoint. Now, I can pull away pretty far, and it'll go. And again, if I come in here, notice I'm not even touching the line. I'm kind of close. It's just, there's a lot more smarts to those selections than there were before. And, oh man, <laughs> I'm pretty happy because I want the sketcher in the prior versions because I'm still working in a lot of the older versions for my clients. And I'm... You know, I go back to those older versions, I'm kind of sad <laughs> because this works way, way, way better than what most people currently have. And to be honest, those are some of my favorite changes. There are other ones, but 
I'll get into those in another video. This is running a little long in the tooth. Anyway, I hope you liked what you saw, you learned something. And if you did, please, again, like the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again soon.